The all-new Laurel Park is beyond your expectations. Feel the anticipation. This long shot coming over. Witness the speed. Experience the thrill. Hi, Laurel Park Racing fans, and welcome to the replay show. We'll go through all the replays in Sunday afternoon with nine races on the program. A quick reminder, coming up Saturday, Jim McKay, Maryland Million Day here at Laurel Park. Go to laurelpark.com for all of your seating options. We'll have free admission, a free Maryland Million cap. The first 4,000 program purchases on Jim McKay, Maryland Million Day. It's Maryland's Day at the races Saturday, October 21st. Another date to mark on your calendar, Veterans Day. Saturday, November 11th, Maryland celebrates Ben's Cat with six stakes races with purses totaling $575,000, a free Ben's Cat poster. We'll have a lot more on that to come on Ben's Cat Day, Saturday, November 11th, Maryland Million Day just around the corner. Let's get to the Sunday card here at Laurel Park, the first of nine. Tapalia. And they're off. I dream of Lois and seeing and believing and Torcida charging up right off the heels there in third position. There is Torcida who's moving through on the inside of I dream of Lois. Torcida seeing command. Torcida's in front. Torcida by two for I dream of Lois and seeing and believing. Here's Tapalia the favorite out in the clear. Rating along in fourth position just three lengths from the lead and Lenape Rim is the last runner. Torcida now I dream of Lois re-engaging there on the outside. They're head to head. Another the length and a half seeing and believing here's Tapa Leas has dropped about five from the front and it's Nana P. Rim the last runner heading for the far turn. Torcida on the rail leading the way. I Dream of Lois continues to battle on the outside seeing and believing and here is Tapa Leas asks for a little more by Fergal Lynch from fourth who's got five to close still and Nana P. Rim last on the inside. I Dream of Lois and seeing and believing going on Torcida's tired from early efforts and Tapa Leas driven along four spots Still five from the front, and Lenape Rim is last. They reach the top of the stretch for the long run home, and it's seeing and believing from I Dream of Lois and Lenape Rim. Tapalia is fourth, the outside, and Torcida into the stretch with a quarter of a mile left to go. And it is seeing and believing, and Sheldon Russell, they're off by four, now five in front from I Dream of Lois and Lenape Rim, and Torcida no fire from Tapalia in the last furlong, and charging to the second finish, it's going to be seeing and believing. Seeing and believing, making a believer out of him, opening up double digits and a drubbing here in the opener. And it's I Dream of Lois and close third Lennon P. Rim or Torcida. And they're off. 
First away, soft landing, queen to checkmate. Budakai on the far outside and hard rockin' blues with early speed. Four to line is all about blue. In fifth position, about the three path. They are followed by Lulu's on the move. Grecian Dancer and Menorah Laura at the back of the pack as well. Six lengths front to back and it's a three-way go on the pace. Inside a soft landing, just that head in front from Queen to Checkmate and Budokai, the far outside. Grecian Dancer now moves forward a length and a half from the front with Run from fourth. Then in between horses, Lulu's on the move and Hard Rock and Blue's the one widest out. Menorah Laura Budokai's given way and all the black blue is on the outside. Into the far turn, and now it's Hard Rock and Blue's, Hard Rock and Blue's and Queen to Checkmate, soft landing right there at the rail. Grecian Dancer had every chance but ridden along crown fourth. Then it's Lulu's on the move in between horses and Menorah Laura driving the red colors. Top of the stretch now, Queen to Checkmate in front from Hard Rock and Blue's. A far outside, Menorah Laura is trying to join as well. In between horses, Lulu's on the move into the last furlong. Queen to Checkmate, stubbornly holding on to the lead though with the left lead there. It is Queen to Checkmate. Outside, Lulu's on the move. Collars now, Lulu's on the move. Queen to Checkmate, Queen to Checkmate determined. Lulu's on the move, Lulu's on the move. Queen to Checkmate up and down. Funnel finish, Queen to Checkmate and Lulu's on the move together. Menorah and Laura, then Grecian Dancer and All About Blue and Hard Rocket Blues. Time 127.5. And they're off. Katie's horseplay in faith and works. Matilda Skrevnu bounced away okay and socially driven on the outside. Here's Mischief Moss, the favorite in between horses, right up close to. Then it's back to Bubbly to the tail of the field with Baltimore Street on the outside, improving a spot or two as they head on for the far turn, where Socially Driven now outkicks the other speed. Socially Driven by two. Katie's horseplay, Matilda Strevnu, and here's Baltimore Street three wide. And Faith and Works under pressure to stay on, and Mischief Maz and Blast is Bubbly. Midpoint on the turn, socially driven is in front. Matilda Srebnu, Katie's horseplay near the inside, and Baltimore Street the far outside. Another two lengths back, and it's Mischief Maz racing in fifth and angling wider out for the stretch drive. Turning for home now, and Baltimore Street comes to even terms of socially driven. Mischief Maz out in the center of the racetrack, then it's Katie's horseplay, and Matilda Srebnu, Mischief Maz in front from Baltimore Street with a 16th to go, and getting away now. Mischief Maz, Mischief Maz to win by two plus lengths. Baltimore Street was second, socially driven, and Matilda Srebnu or Faith and Works.
second her off. In jail, off to a sharp beginning right through the front. From Firth, from between horses, here's Star Swept surging up with speed on the inside, and Star Swept sweeps up on the inside of In Jail to grab the lead. Firth away running in third, then Caught Dreaming on the outside, just fourth from Hotcha, fifth, and Forever is racing sixth, and Boss Babe at the back. Only six and a half lengths off a of speed of Star Swept, three quarters in front from In Jail, second. Firth of the blue color is in third. Inside is Hotcha racing fourth, Caught Dreaming out of the clear. Three wide into the far turn run with an three of the speed up ahead. Then it's back to Forever trying to get motivated for the back of the pack and Boss Babe trailing. In jail keeping that pressure on Star Swept and here's Caught Dreaming up there to join two and Hotcha's just in behind the lead in fourth and Firth racing in fifth. Forever still at an even clip past the quarter pole. They make the turn for home and it's In Jail. In Jail swings a little wide off that turn in front by two lengths from Caught Dreaming. Caught Dreaming still willing and trying to catch In Jail but In Jail's in front with about a furlong left to go. A length in front and here's Caught Dreamin' on the outside, catching her best right now. Caught Dreamin', Caught Dreamin' on the outside, grabbing the lead at the 16th pole under Sheldon Russell. It's Caught Dreamin', Caught Dreamin' and a sharp win to win by two. In Jail was second, and Hacha was third and forever fourth. Star swept fifth. Time 111.15. And they're off. Pink Princess stumbled a bit at the start. No more excuses flashing right out to the front. No more excuses. Clears off about a length and a half from Lemon Lover in Burbank Road. Right alongside Burbank Road now takes second, but no more excuses. Grabs that lead. Right out of the gate has got it by a length. From Burbank Road second. Back in third is Lemon Lover. Lemon Lover has dropped back suddenly about three off that lead. Going to come just to the outside now. Uh, Burbank Road didn't want to run down inside there. Another three back on its Pink Princess. A Desert uh, Princess is the trailer. So midpoint on the turn. No more excuses. Uses and Burbank Road 1-2 with Lemon Lover now three wide and Pink Princess next and Desert Princess at the back at the quarter pole on the top of the stretch now and Lemon Lover on the outside no more excuses down to the inside Burbank Road is trying to stay in between horses shovel out just a little bit but in the meantime it's Lemon Lover Lemon Lover getting away from no more excuses toward the last furlong and Burbank Road is third and they're close to home it's Lemon Lover and Laurel Lemon Lover going away by three from No More Excuses. And then Burbank Road, Pink Princess, and Desert Princess. One oh four point six three the time.
and they're off. Iredell, here's Derek Smile firing up on the outside and flight crew at the rail, just clear from Mr. Benz by two and a half. And Scout's Honor is the last runner. Iredell and Derek Smile hooking up as they head him with a far turn. These two from flight crew, another two and a half, and Mr. Benz and Scout's Honor at the back. Far turn run, Iredell getting heat from Derek Smile and flight crew is keeping up with him just off the duel. Here's Mr. Benz, drops some six from the front and Scout's Honor left. It's Derek Smile that head in front. Iredell counters right on back on the inside and flight crew traveling up there. Three wide attempting to join at the quarter pole. And then it's Mr. Ben Scout's honor. They're into the stretch. Derek Smile kicking on with it. And the outside flight crew there as well. Way out in the middle is Mr. Ben's getting involved. Mr. Ben's far outside and Iredell is resilient out of the inside. Iredell's come back for a little more. Iredell and flight crew and Mr. Ben's on the outside. Three chances. Yards from home. Mr. Benz, Mr. Benz, Mr. Benz from flight crew and Iredell in a three-way photo and scouts on her Derek Smile. Photo time 103.80. And they're off. Lippman with a sharp start to the front. What power from the inside gate. Cabang on the outside. How's your sugar? The pink colors in between horses. Then Broadreach will settle about three off the early lead. And Tail of Mist is the last runner racing just off the inside. Leading the way is Lippman. It's a slow pace, too. Lippman's got him backed up there. It's Cabang on the outside second. And How's your sugar in third to position. Broadreach is racing fourth in between horses. And Tail of Mist sails up at the clear. And what power in the back? Only Five lengths will cover that field heading into the far turn where Lippman and Fergal Lynch are in charge a half from Kabang second. Tail of Miss with clear sailing on the outside. How's your sugar riding that rail? And they're followed by Broadreach in between horses, just three from the front. And what power has got to pick it up as they round that far turn? Lippman, Kabang, one, two, joined by Tail of Mist out there. Three wide, three and one half furlongs from the wire. How's your sugar? Then back to Broadreach who's asked for a little bit more run. And what power? Toward the top of the stretch, more than a quarter of a mile left to go. Tail of mist on the outside and Kabang and Lippman down to the inside in a three-way battle as they straighten in for the final quarter of a mile. Broad reach, how's your sugar near the inside? It's Lippman turning back the challenge of Tail of Mist and also the challenge of Kabang. Lippman's got a little more, two-length lead. Kabang second and Tail of Mist is in third. How's your sugar in broad reach and what power? A 16th left to go and it's Lippman. Lippman's coming home. Lippman striding away by 4-5, Kabang second, and tail of Mist and Broadreach.
and they're off. Great bet of the inside. The favorite can't say no from the outside. From in between horses, their cord and maker. Broke up in sideways, but now settles to the back of the pack. Little Jimmy B's up there with early speed. And Hidden Funds races third far outside. Blue Ridge Scout is racing in fourth. Then Cord Maker in fifth position. Great Ben settles toward the back of the pack. About six from the front. And Black Jacket is the last runner. Can't say no. Leading the way by a half length. Not much pressure. Little Jimmy B's second. So it is going to be Can't Say No and Caramanos controlling things three quarters now. Little Jimmy B and Cord Makers eager to go from third position and Blue Ridge Scout is in fourth. Hidden Funds travels fifth, about four from the front and ridden along as Hidden Funds as they round that far turn. Black Jacket still has eight lengths to make up and Great Ben. Far turn run and it is Can't Say No from Little Jimmy B. Blue Ridge Scout is in third. Cud Maker on the inside. Hidden Funds Funds out there, three wide, trying to re-rally, ridden along, and they come to the top of the stretch. Can't say no, little Jimmy B, and Blue Ridge Scout far outside, driven in third position, then Cord Maker tries to pitch in, taking off the inside. Cord Maker's very willing. They're down to the last furlong and a half. Can't say no, and Blue Ridge Scout. Cord Maker giving all in between horses. Cord Maker with a very willing run in between horses. Steve Hamilton and Cord Maker striking an hour early to 16th to go. Blue Ridge Scout the outside. So it's Cordmaker, Blue Ridge Scout. Cordmaker, Blue Ridge Scout. Blue Ridge Scout out kicks Cordmaker. And then hidden funds. Can't say no, maybe fourth. And they're off. Holiday Hope's victory rally with a good start. We'll settle right off the pace. Hot Frisia on the outside. Here's Eskimo Princess up there. So it's going to be Hot Frisia, Eskimo Princess to that first furlong and onto the main portion of the track. Victory rally broke sharp and is settled in hand in third position, tugging along. Holiday Hopes is fourth on the inside, and Holiday Prayer follows that in fifth, and a length and a half more, and it's Karma in another five. And Love Scarlet is at the back of the pack with five furlongs left to go. It's Eskimo Princess out of the inside, and Hot Frisia on the outside. In the meantime, Victory Rally looms in third position in the early stages of the race, and the inside is Holiday Hopes, and it's another two and a half back. They're followed by Karma Holiday Prayer out there, three deep on the turn, and Love for Scarlet is last of all. Hot Trisia continues to contest that pace there but dropping back is Eskimo Princess in the meantime Victory Rally has been traveling sweetly throughout. Victory Rally looming with plenty of run from second. The far outside there's Karma. Karma's come to the outside moving up third position and Holiday Hopes is fourth as they swing for home. It is Victory Rally in front. Hasn't been asked for best yet. Victory Rally opens up willingly a length and a half under own courage. Now almost three from Karma's second. Then it's Hot Frisia in third. And Holiday Hopes is fourth. The others battling along for fifth in the last furlong. It's Victory Rally. And Alex Cintron just took, took a peek at the infield video board. And he's coming home. Victory Rally. Alex Cintron for his third win of the day. Karma was second. Hot Frisia was third. And followed by fourth Holiday Hopes. And then it looked like Lover Scarlet.
Join us here at Laurel Park again for racing on Monday afternoon. Our racing now for the fall schedule Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So we'll see you at the track on Monday afternoon. A quick reminder, too, about our post-time shift and change that will be coming up on Friday, Friday, October 20th, the day before Maryland Million Day. First race at 1230, special Maryland Million Day post-time at 1215. Then we'll go back to our new post-time, which is 1230 now, Friday through Monday, here at Laurel Park. Thanks for watching the Sunday Replay Show.